Who are the best possible overpowered goalkeepers you can buy at the end of FC24? We have all the new cards in this video, so if you love the series, leave a like, subscribe, and click the i button to watch every single position I uploaded for you on my channel to know everything about how to strengthen your team in the last phase of FC24. Thanks for watching. If you like it, leave a like. We have no time to waste. Let's go. If you want to build yourself the best possible strongest team, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Remember to use my discount code VIVA to enjoy 6% of your deal. Apart from coins, U7 Buy also provides nowadays games and also gift cards, game keys, mobile games and so much more. Click the link to watch it all in the description. If you're a big fan of football shirts and you want to buy it for yourself or to give it to a friend, go to Soccer Real Shop. There is a link down in the description. With the code VIVA you receive a big discount of free shirts when you buy shirts. As always, we're starting off with the cheapest of the cheapest and that are the goalkeepers between 10 and 20k. You can find all the best goalkeepers, you can see the gold cards in their own leagues, who are now so cheap because we have several special cards in the same league, on that same goalkeeper position, that these are the boys you had to pay big time for at the start, now are available for a cut price. In La Liga, that is Eoblak and Ter Stegen. Donnarumma, by the way, also deserves a shout out in the League E. And in the Premier League, we have Edelson Marais, Alison Becker, and for me, the best of the best, Dirty Dirty cheap goalkeeper is Thibaut Courtois because he makes a lot of saves he is six foot seven that makes a big difference he has length he has reach and something I really love in a goalkeeper is if you are a big guy in goal who can save shots who can come there but is also hard to beat on the goal line so for me Thibaut Courtois out of all these good overpowered players is the best on the first page we are entering 10k extra between 20 and 30k we find Nick Pope and Jurity Dudek if you like a Premier League goalkeeper these are the boys that can save the day for you want to go for my personal favorites that is Campos you've seen him on the thumbnail he is a great legendary goalkeeper who also played as a striker he isn't the biggest guy but his reflexes agility and 93 pace make him a great one-on-one -on -one goalkeeper with that pace he looks like speedy Gonzalez Radecki is your Bundesliga goalkeeper you're looking for and Krepau is the highest rated goalkeeper so far 95 rated he's playing in the major league soccer that is why he is so cheap at the moment but the Portland Timbers goalkeeper is great if you're looking for a team to build around Lionel Messi a step-by-step -step 10k extra we find a lot of team of the week cards alongside team to year nominee card Edison Moraes who is probably going to the Saudi League next season we have Andre Onana and Chevalier great in the Premier League great in the League E Ariola is also nice in the Premier League and Gianluigi Donnarumma we find him there with his 90 rated card and still on a good cut price and you can probably see the players on the first page all the gold ones Oblak, Courtois, Ter Stegen, Alisson, Ederson they are better looking to the stats than Onana, Chevalier, Ariola but these are team of the week cards and they are, have a higher price because they're used in SBCs you know if you did SBC you need a lot of that team of the week players in there and that is why these players are higher valued the final time under 50,000 coins, we find team of the season stars alongside Ruud van Nistelrooy as a goalkeeper. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. I told you that many times, of course, like that. Like, for example, Lef Yashin center back, Ruud van Nistelrooy goalkeeper. It, it's not for me. You might like it. You can use it. But I don't like to use players outside of their natural position a lot. It's just not, well, it doesn't feel realistic enough for me. Kubo plays in the Bundesliga. Unai Simon plays with Atletico de Bilbao in the La Liga. Alisson is your best match so far in the EPL and Jan Sommer is your shot stopper in the Serie A. Serie A is lacking great goalkeepers after the leaving of Gianluigi Donnarumma and Buffon retiring but Sommer is making up for that. With 25k extra we find our first iconic goalkeepers. Iker Casillas, 90 pace, uh, sorry, 90 diving, 93 reflexes, a great goalkeeper to use. Also 95, Donnarumma is entering the page. Now he has a team of the season card with stats matching that. Like everybody will say, he is great. If you have a league early team, Donnarumma is your saver in a lot of games. Peter Cech, this time without a helmet, it's an early career card, young baby Peter Cech, he is great overall, has nice reach as well, is also 6'6", six six. great card, the only girl I put in this video, oops, because she is the highest rated goalkeeper in this game, 94 rated for the lady in red, lady 91 you can call her, with diving, handling, kicking, being that 91 rated stat, and my favorite so far, Edwin van der Sach. 
88 rated, great goalkeeper. For a price like that, you can't let him be on the market. Steal him away, put him in your team, and see how many saves he makes extra in comparison with the goalkeeper you're using right now. 100k around that area. You can spend on players like this. They will bring you a lot of glory. They're not the best of the best. We have one page left, but they are great already. Peter Schmeichel, 89 rated card, is a beastly goalkeeper. He's a big guy in goal, something you'll probably love. Then we find Marek André Ter Stegen with a 95 rated road path to glory. But luckily for Germany, that path got destroyed by Spain. They didn't reach it, they didn't make it, but Ter Stegen still has a 95 rated card. It looks pretty impressive. Then we find Iker Casillas, 92 rated goalkeeper, also not bad in there. Jan Oblach, League E. He's not in there, but the La Liga. They have so many amazing goalkeepers. Ter Stegen, Oblak, it's hard to choose from. By the way, Jan Oblak is up for sale, so maybe in FC25, we might see him in a different league. That would be nice, and that would be cool. And now we find Thunderstruck, 90 rated Edwin van der Sar. His normal card is already pretty amazing, but what do you think about this Rockstar card? With 86 diving, you might think it's not that special, but if you use him in goal, he is, as I told you, a big, big guy. You'll probably tell me, V Thanks for the tip, Van der Sar is a life savior. But there is always somebody better than you, and these are the best of the best of the best goalkeepers. Lev Yashin, of course he is an icon, of course he is a legend, and of course he got himself that beautiful 90 rated card with 94 reflexes and that 93 diving. Also, Edwin van der Sar is making his entry once again, this time with his 92 rated card, also his highest rated card. Alison Becker is there to steal the show once again. Peter Cech, this time with Helmut, it's more in the prime of his career. Cool for him that even with that, well, that injury, he became such a legendary goalkeeper and by far the most expensive and best card in the game is Peter Schmeichel. 97 rated for the old goalkeeper of Denmark and Manchester United. Makes him with 500k by far also the most expensive goalkeeper in this game. But he's worth every single penny you spent with 96 diving, 98 reflexes, the kicking, the handling and the positioning being so massive. Peter Schmeichel deserves a shout out to be the best goalkeeper called in this game and he might be that until the end because I can't see anybody surpassing his qualities. So if you loved the video don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more and put on the notification bell. I thank you all for watching and as you know for me keep it cool, keep it real and ciao for now.